Hey, what is up guys? Phone take over here with another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 Plus to an iPhone 6. This one running iOS 11.2.5 Beta 1, where this is running iOS 11.2.1 regular version. So let's see how they compare. All right, guys, so first up here, I'm gonna boot up both devices. Um, the Apple logo appeared first on the iPhone uh, 6 running iOS 11.2.5. It took a uh, millisecond or so more on the iPhone 6 running iOS 11.2.1 regular. So let's see if any improvement there with a boot up on iOS 11.2.5 there. I think they're supposed to be the same, but let's see. So same specs here, just uh, more resolution on this phone 1920 by 1080 p where this has the regular 1334 by 720. So, uh, oh yeah, iPhone 6 was faster, millisecond or so, so maybe there's some improvement there with iOS 11.2.5. All right, guys, so both devices have nothing running in the background. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Geekbench test here. Launching the app, okay, was maybe a millisecond or so faster on the iPhone 6, running iOS 11.2.5 there, as you can see. Beta, though. Uh, as you can see, they have, both have the same specs. iPhone 6 Plus has slightly less memory, actually, RAM. So that's actually weird. Uh, usually, it's a bigger phone. Maybe they can actually force more RAM into it, but they didn't. So let's just go for the CPU. And as always guys, just gonna skip through and show you the results. All right guys, so both devices finished here. And it's about the same. I mean, uh, the iPhone 6 had slightly better scores, but just slightly there. So 20 more in the single core score and 13 there in the multi-core score. So basically they're about the same. And just to show you guys, this turning is 11.2.5, or just turning 11.2.1. All right, guys, so I made sure everything's closed in the background here. And I did relaunch basically all the apps I'm gonna test for them to re-index. And uh, let's go. First up, calendar here. And I'd say about the same. Uh, next up, camera. iPhone 6 was faster there on iOS 11.2.5 beta. Maps, uh, about the same. Okay, yeah, so iPhone 6 did load it faster. Moving to clock. Slightly faster than the 6, but it had less alarms and stuff. So weather, identical. Some lag on both when I'm when leaving the app, basically. So no improvement there. And all right, next up, stocks, identical. So these apps are light stock apps, basically don't require that much power. And identical there, videos, identical. App Store, going to apps and uh, there, I think the six was a millisecond faster or so than the, than the six plus. Uh, then guys going to health and I think the six, six was actually faster than the six plus. Uh, next up clock, millisecond or so faster than this on the six. All right guys, next up Safari. About the same, let's go with iPhone 10. Both are responding, <laughs> they did. So iPhone 6 is loaded faster. Some lag there on the plus. No, it's fine. All right, leaving. So this phone has more pixels to push clearly, but they both have the same processor. So there's some struggle maybe for a 6 plus. Next up some games guys here, where stuff gets more extreme, so Rush. And definitely this phone has a bigger screen, 5.5 inch. Better for gaming, playing, or consuming media. And yeah, six was slightly faster on the newest beta. Then comes this game here, Space Frontier on both, and both are taking some time actually to load it. Oh, so the six plus actually loaded the the catch up thing first, but oh yeah, six was six uh, plus was faster than six, the regular six on beta. Next up, guys, going for Flores Lava. And both are taking some time. And I think it's about the same there. Okay, 
Six was faster, loading this. Six plus taking forever. All right, but the six plus did load the game without an ad, so that's the thing there. Moving to next thing here, this game, Alien Shooter. And this game should be light, actually, shouldn't really need that much power. So uh, Info 6 should really launch it. All right, it's about the same. Let's try something here. So they're identical, I'd say. Again, this game is pretty light, shouldn't really be an issue. Leaving really did take some milliseconds there, some hesitation on both. So next up, Rolling Sky. And launching as well did take some millisecond delay or so, guys, on both. And uh, loading looks about the same, actually. Okay, yeah, actually, 6 plus is faster. So, guys, there's um, you can't really say that either of these phones is faster than the other one. Basically, uh, taking into consideration the more pixels and the beta, sometimes this one is faster, sometimes the other one is faster. So, it just depends. Temper on 2. And yeah, so uh, basically, even though this phone is bigger, it still has a good screen, good, uh, does good performance there. So uh, the six is way faster. Six plus didn't do anything there. Okay, it's loading, catching up, and oh, okay. Six Plus was faster, but I think this wasn't a fair test because the iPhone 6 was launched, launching this game for the first time and probably six, the 6 Plus had it already installed, so that's what, that was a delay maybe on the 6, so. So I, I think the 6 was faster actually. So next up into the benchmark. And, uh, okay, the 6 Plus was faster. Leaving the app, just gonna close everything guys in the background and go for into the benchmark test like always. So stay tuned. Uh, guys, just before going for a uh, benchmark test here, just gonna do some RAM management. Let's go for the calendar. Both have to refresh as expected. Going for camera. Both have to refresh. Going for maps. And both had to refresh. So yeah, at this point, both have one gigabyte of RAM, so there's no chance on both to actually keep anything on iOS 11. I refresh on both. Weather. I refresh on both. So iOS 11 and one gig of RAM just doesn't really work out when it comes to RAM management. So the App Store here. Coming for the App Store. One of the heaviest apps here and the stock apps. No chance. Both struggling actually to keep any app in the, or in the background. Because we did really launch a lot of games here. So let's try Rolling Sky. Oh, so the iPhone 6 did actually manage to keep the game in the background. 6 Plus failed. Maybe some optimization there on 11.2.5. Good to see, actually. Let's go for Temper on. I'll both have to refresh. Let's go for this game, Alien Shooter. And both have to refresh. Let's go for. Space Frontier here on both, and both have to refresh actually. Yeah. Both have to refresh. So, yeah, guys, basically, let's try Temperon 2. Yeah, definitely a refresh on both. Let's try one more thing here into the benchmark, the last thing I launched on both, and should really be kept in the background actually. All right. Because it was the last thing. All right, guys, we're just gonna close everything in the background now and go for it into the benchmark test. All right, guys, here we have it. I'm just gonna speed it up, of course. Guys, here we have it. These are the scores. So, um, a slightly better score on the iPhone 6 Plus. And I want to point out something, guys, that uh, both devices really lagged there when, when I actually came to the uh, moving through the garden, Japanese garden. They both weren't smooth. If you want to compare them to the iPhone 6S, 7, or 8, ever 10, 
these phones were actually clearly better so uh, as you can see guys here the scores the 3d on the bigger screen is higher on the, on the iPhone 6 plus UX is slightly higher on this in the 6 plus but it's identical actually CPU is almost the same 26,433 26,064 so yeah basically have an a8 chip 1.4 gigahertz RAM is exactly whoa so this phone has just scored one point lower than this phone on the RAM management the RAM actually so 7245 7244 yeah basically you have the same RAM even though this phone has 20 megabytes less less RAM but actually interesting there Alright guys, I just want to point out the battery life. So this phone started at 89%, lost 14%, where it started at 82 and lost 11%. So usually plus phones have better batteries, that's for sure. Bigger battery, everything. But yeah, so the 6 wasn't that bad actually. Lost 15% there, or yeah, 14%, 11%, almost the same actually, guys. So maybe the 6 had, had, had some improved battery with 11.2.5. So probably this will get it too. Alright guys, hope you liked the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.